Hi, I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered and licensed dietitian. And today I'm going to provide you with a few tips on how to track your calories or count the calories that you've eaten. First, keep a food diary. This means record all the food that you've eaten throughout the day. Try to be as specific as possible, meaning the time of day you've eaten it, the amount that you've eaten it, and if you can measure, try to measure if you can, uh, as well as a type of food product and maybe how it was prepared. If you know that it was fried versus baked, all of those can affect the amount of calories you've eaten. Also keep in mind if they're foods that you're purchasing in a box or a bag or a package, they're going to have the nutrition facts label. This is a very key tool to looking at the amount of nutrients you're ingesting. Make sure to look at your serving size, as all packages don't necessarily contain one serving. For instance, a bottle of soda, which you may consume the entire package, actually has about two and a half servings. And you need to take that into consideration when calculating your overall um, daily calorie intake. Now, keep that food diary, again, with the amount of foods and the types of foods. And you can either go into a nutrient database, such as the USDA Food National Database log, and find the particular calories of that type of food, or you can utilize like the mypyramid.gov website. Mypyramidtracker.gov is really a personalized nutrient plan for you. You can plug in the types of foods as the amounts, and it does all the hard work for you. It calculates the calories as, as well as all the breakdown of where the calories came from, vitamins, minerals, and different nutrients we need. So again, your part is keep the food log and track the amounts. Let mypyramid.gov do the rest of the work for you. It's just a little bit of information to help you get on the right track to calculate your daily calorie intake. I'm Charlotte, and eat happy.